Howdy, little buckaroos. Cheers truly, Archie Ombre. Right here with my buddy Thomas here. We got Maddie over here. We're celebrating the 100th birthday of one of my favorite artists, Wayne Tebow. What do, you, what do you think, Thomas? Do we have 100 candles on here yet? No. Mm. No, just two spots. Just two spots? All right, I'm going to keep trying. I'll tell you what, kiddos. Why don't you go ahead and watch this hair video and learn a little bit about Mr. Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow was born in November 1920. And after studying at college and working for Walt Disney Studios and also being an art teacher, he ended up becoming one of the leading artists in the pop art movement. Most of it centering around things like this, desserts and pastries, and the kind of things you might see in the glass case at your local grocery store. Of course, no more popular than these right here. Pictures of cakes, lots of delicious cakes. And that is going to be our subject for today. Well, in honor of Wayne Tebow's 100th birthday, we're going to do, well, naturally, picture of a cake, just like he likes. Now, we're going to start off with our paper, though. We want to start off like this, where the paper is horizontal, so it's going to look kind of like a window, all right? Now, you get your writing or drawing utensil of choice. We're going to start off in the middle of this here paper. Now, we're going to draw a capital letter C and we're going to do it a little different like for one thing it's going to be kind of skinny and for another we're actually only going to draw half of it and then draw the other half let me show you what I mean so start off in your middle here we're going to draw a capital C it's going to look kind of like a candy cane really when you think about it so we're going to do your capital C start off just like that now I'm going to stop because I want this other side to be nice and even I'm going to come over here Right, right about maybe where this thing started. I'm going to finish off that C. So I've got a nice, even, oval shape right there. Okay, so that's going to be the top of your cake right there. Let's take this now. We're going to turn it over. We're going to do most of our work like this. So on either side of these parts of the C, we're going to do letter J. Now, start off right here on the edge. I'm going to make a letter J just like that. Come over here on this edge. I'm going to make another letter J just like that. Now, on the bottom of them J's, I'm going to make a lowercase L. So you got that there and right there. Now, make sure them lowercase L's kind of end about the same length. I think I need to bring this down just a tad. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Now, we're going to copy the form of this line right above us. Okay, see how it's kind of curvy? Right, kind of like the smile on an emoji. So we're going to do that there. We're going to make that curve. Just kind of make a little smile of curve just like that. And that'll be the bottom of our cake there. Okay. Now it's time for a little bit of decorating. Okay. So we're going to come over here and we're going to first start off with that icing on the top. We want this icing to look all drippy and loosey-goosey. So we're going to make these little drippies and waves kind of random. Now, what random means is, well, it means the opposite of a pattern. Now, I know you little hombres, you've been studying math, you know a lot about pattern, right? Like you got A, B, C patterns, and A, B patterns, and A, B, A patterns, and A, well, you get the idea, okay? So what we're going to do is just do some kind of random wavy lines. You can make some little drips here and there, make it look like that. Icing's really thick and all drippy and delicious like on the top of that cake. Mmm, looks good enough to eat. Now we're going to do some decorations on the top. Now, sometimes they like to put gumballs or, or little candied beads or, I don't know, little balls of icing on the bottom. And we're going to finish that up, make it look real nice there. I'm going to put some, some little lowercase O's right there along the bottom of my cake there. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this because it's real purdy like. There we go. Put some little lowercase o's on there. Mmm, that looks really, really good. You know, my wife is a pretty good decorator, Mrs. Artsy Ombre. Uh, or I should say, uh, Artsy Moo Hair. That's her appropriate title. Uh, and she's real good at this. This is the kind of cake she makes. Alright, so uh, we're going to finish this off on the edges. Uh, right up here on the corner of where this line and that curve meets. 
Gonna do a lowercase c there. And gonna do a backwards lowercase c right over there. Yeah, that looks real good. Now we gotta put some candles on this bad boy. So we're gonna do a couple of lowercase, wait, what am I saying? Lowercase, <laughs> we're gonna do some number 11s. So there's no lowercase involved in that. So I'm gonna start off with doing a real skinny number 11 there for one candle. And over here on this part of the seat, I'm gonna do another lowercase 11 there. Did I say lowercase 11? Good God Almighty, I am losing my mind. All right, here in the middle, we're going to do a one more 11 there. And yeah, that's three candles. That, that That's good enough. Okay, now we want to finish off this background and close that off. So look here, where you see ends right there. That's where you want to put a little minus sign in there, a little minus sign there. So let's finish this thing off. You're going to take your paper now. You're going to turn it back around like it was before, like a winder, all right? And we're going to make a plate for this here cake to be on. And we're going to make another C just like we did before, okay? Only a little bit bigger. Now, just here below where your frosting line is, we're going to come over here and we're going to make that capital C. So I'm going to start off here, curve around, go down about halfway. And I'm going to come over here on this side and I'm going to finish that off make the bottom of that plate there. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna make some more seeds, but these are gonna be real tiny like. So come over here and look at your candles here. Huh? We're gonna do a lowercase c there, and there, and there. Now, we're gonna do the same thing here at the top of the candle, all right? Lowercase c, just kinda of close that off real good like. Now, floating off over here, right off to the side of them seeds, are gonna be some more lowercase c's about the same size. Okay, so we have lowercase c here, and here, and there. All right? Now, this is gonna be the flames here. So we're gonna close that off with one of them, you know, greater than, less than signs, right? You know, the alligator each the bigger number, that kind of thing. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna close that off real good. All right, we've got your greater than, less than. Yeah, that looks real good. And just kind of finish that off with a little minus sign. Going right from the candle into the flame, and bam, there you go. See, that was a piece of cake. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the lesson, and don't forget to go online, Google more about Wayne Tebow, and uh, find out more about his pictures. I, I really like him a whole lot. As you can tell, old Mr. Tebow, he liked to do him some cakes in his pictures. And that's why we're celebrating his 100th birthday with this cake. Now, can't blow up the candles till we sing a song, right? Yeah, what song are we gonna sing? Um, happy birthday. Okay, all right, help me sing it out. Here we go, ready? Happy birthday to you. Dirty diapers have poo. Does not have it. He's not have those? Oh, okay. All right, Thomas, you go, you've been waiting patiently. Why don't you go ahead and blow up them candles? Oh, that's good. There you go. Let's break out a sprinkle. So that'll be fun. Perfect. All right, now we get to eat it. That, how are we going to eat this now? Cut it. We're going to cut it. Okay, here's my piece. You just get a piece of it and just... There you go. That was <laughs> Well, that's all the time I got for today, kiddos. Y'all be safe and be creative and kind every day. Bye-bye now. Adios, amigos. All right, Thomas. Thanks for helping me out, partner. Adios, amigo. Bye. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Let me kick it. That's what they do to tire it. Sometimes it works. Try it now. What? Oh, you just reversed on me. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you little stinker.